Hi there! This time I'm going to show you how to use the Mendeley desktop system with a LaTeX environment. Now I showed you already before how to use it with LibreOffice Writer as well as Microsoft Word but the LaTeX environment is used much more especially in technical fields for scientific writing. Therefore it's quite useful to know how to use this tool together with LaTeX environment. And for this purpose I've already created um, a simple LaTeX document which is over here. The, basically the, the text file is the LaTeX source file and then we compile it into in this case PDF. And um, if, you, if you're not familiar with LaTeX please study it a little bit before you watch this video further. Uh, one place to study is this wikibooks.org which has dedicated sections for LaTeX explaining what it is and how to use it. So this file that I've, uh, the text file that I have here open, it's when I compile it, it looks like this as a PDF file. And I'm going to add here a few references so you can see how it works together with Mendeley Desktop. But before you can use it, you have to go in Mendeley to Tools and Options and under here the Bibtex tab. And in this tab you can choose to sync the, your library to a Bibtex file. And Bibtex is it's a, a database file structure or format that the LaTeX is using to manage references. So we can either choose to create one big file for the whole library, which I usually do, or sometimes I choose one per group if I only want to use one particular group, or you can choose one BibTeX file per document. So this is quite good if your library is not that huge. Um, this is the path where I'm going to create and it's, it's going to be the same path where I have that paper. So if I choose OK now and go back to this file browser, I can see that I have the library bib file here. And if I edit it with a text editor, you can see that it looks a bit cryptic, but these are bib text entries. So the Mendeley desktop generated for each document that I have in my library, it generated one of these entries in this document. So now we can have a look at this, um, these uh, references. And one thing that you need to use, uh, what you need to do when you are working with LaTeX is you need to know the citation key. So it's over here. When you select any reference, citation key says here. It's usually the, the last name of the first author and then the year. And you use the citation key in LaTeX to refer to this particular document or this this. Um, reference. So in this document where we are writing some text, I've already had a couple of, of sentences here where I'm going to add, add, add references. So here I'm going to add ga mandrik. So I'm going to write the cite command, which is a LaTeX command for adding a new citation in your document. And then this would then contain the citation key. So let's have a look at what ga and mandrik, what is their citation key. It's going to be ga 2011. Okay, let's use that. Go 2011. And then uh, let's add a couple of more here. So, for example, um, let's say Smith 2016 and Stiano 2011. And perhaps uh, daily. 2009. Okay, so you can add one or more references like this in um, in LaTeX. Okay, so now how to show this? If I just compile it, there's going to be some errors, citations undefined or warnings, and if I show it, these are just question marks. So how do we add the reference list? Well, that's not really about Mendeley anymore. It's more about LaTeX. You have to have these couple of lines. In this case, I'm using an IEEE template, so this is from that. And this one, the bibliography, this one loads a bibtex file and generates the reference list based on that file according to what you have used here. So it will not add everything from your bibtex file into the reference list. It will only use those that you actually use in the document. So in this case, we should have a one, two, three, four. So library refers, of course, to this uh, library bib that was generated 
by the Mendeley desktop. So if I save it, compile it, we have to do it a couple of times, then view it. You see now the list is here, four documents, four references, and numbered correctly according to this IEEE template. If you use another LaTeX template, maybe you see something else, but here we cannot um, just change the citation style arbitrarily. It depends on the template that you use. But anyway, this is how you use BibTeX or LaTeX with this uh, Mendeley desktop. So it, it's quite a versatile tool. Uh, for those who are using, for example, Zotero, there is also a Zotero tab in the options where you can integrate it with the Zotero reference manager. But I, I don't use that personally, so I don't have any need for that. All right. I believe this is the last video of the series. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully these videos have been useful for you if you are a scientific writer or if you are going to be a scientific writer in the future. Thanks for watching.